Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dev here. And today in this video, I'm going to show you this new AI tool, which is called Prome AI. It's this web-based application that allows us to run Stable Diffusion and ControlNet for free. It does have a free membership plan and it's got a really easy to use user interface. And the best part about this project as well is that they actually have a lot of templates for us to use. So we're actually able to get a lot better results when we're inputting our images. So yeah, let's get into it. So as you can see here, there's three main features on the website. The main one that we're going to focus on this video is sketch to rendering. And this is where you input a basic sketch. It can be a black and white sketch and you get a photorealistic render. The next one is erase and replace, which is really cool. Say if there's part of an image that's generated and you're not a big fan of it, maybe you want to remove something or maybe there was a glitch. You can choose to re-render a specific part of that image, which is really useful. There's background diffusion here, which is essentially you're able to replace part of the background and keep the foreground. We're not going to focus on that too much in this video, but it is really useful if you're something like a product designer. So the main reason why I like this site is the fact that it actually comes with really easy to use templates, right? So when you input an image, you can actually choose a template here. So these are the ones I've used recently, but we have a more generic tab. We have one for interior architecture. And when you input an image, you can say, is it more of a stylized sketch? Is it more realistic? Is it maybe a screenshot from a CAD software or maybe a realistic photo? You have one for product designers, you know, footwear, vehicle, fashion, the list goes on. More generic architecture, this is probably for more um, exteriors. Is it more landscape architecture, stylized, realistic, maybe an actual physical model you're uploading. So, as, and you know, you have this more generic one for anime or doodles. But to me, this is absolutely amazing. Like I said, you've got all these templates and they are, from what I see, catered more towards designers and architects, right? Just from the tabs. And by choosing these templates, you're able to get closer in terms of your output because they've probably refined the settings for you in terms of what your input is. Another cool thing about this tool is the fact that you can actually run it on your mobile and you can run it on your iPad, right? So you're able to access this workflow on the go. I'm going to talk more about this later on at the end of the video, my opinion on all of this. I mean, to be honest, I think it's great, but we're going to go into depth later on. Uh, before we carry on with the video, I just want to say if you do enjoy the video, I'd appreciate if you can leave a like and let's get into it. Okay, so for the first example, we're going to do sketch to rendering and I'm actually going to use an example I've shown before but it's this interior um, apartment where we've got a sofa, a cushions, a chair, you know, these curtains, a window, a table and a lamp. So it's a fairly crude sketch. Let's see how well AI handles this. One thing to note though is that this is obviously using stable diffusion. So it is going to read our sketch and, you know, assume what geometry it is. So even if you don't describe anything, it should have a somewhat photorealistic render. It might not get the materials correct, which is why you want to describe something in your scene. However, you can just leave a, a sketch empty. And for this one, I'm going to add a filter and let's say it's a minimalistic apartment. OK, so without even generate, without even describing anything, let's hit generate and see what we get. As you can see, it generates three images and the queues are actually incredibly fast. As you can see, this one, we've already skipped the queue and now they generate three images at one time. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to speed this up in the video. Let's see how well it does it. So as you can see here, the first example, I mean, they're pretty decent. They're not perfect at all by any means, but from what you're getting from the input straight away, fairly decent, okay? So this one's obviously the best here, but one thing to note though is actually the first image, if you're on the free plan, is the only one you can use, right? So you can see whether you like this image or not. You can download this image, but if you want it in HD, you are gonna have to upgrade to be a member. I'm gonna talk about this later on in the video, but there are a few options here. These ones, you don't have any options because it's for members only, okay? One thing I wanna say though is that if you don't like the images you get straight away, you can just hit generate again, okay? The fact that this is, and the fact that this is in Q10, as you saw, we are skipping the queue incredibly fast. So the fact that you can re-roll this incredibly quick, like I said, I'm not speeding this up at any time now, you're going to see how well you can get these images. They do generate pretty quick. This one was probably the best one. Actually, no, this one's quite decent. So this is the first one that I can use, and I can obviously use this now. So without even describing anything, it's filled our scene up pretty well, right? Over here, if you click on this little icon here, you can see you've got your original sketch and this is with the um, render on top of it. So it's working fairly okay. There is a bit of, you know, uh, mismatch happening here, but overall, I think it's quite decent from what we got for our first result. Now, if I want to describe the scene a bit more, I probably get a better result. So if I go to my description here that I've got from another video, so I'm going to say it's a photo of a luxury apartment. It's a living room. We've got a timber floors, uh, a leather sofa with leather cushions. It's a summer day soft shadows and I'm actually going to take out the hyper realistic tab. I don't think I need it. I think I know it knows we want a hyper realistic render just based on the template. So if I hit generate, let's see what we get in this example. So as you can see, the queue is still running here. I wouldn't personally upgrade in terms of the queue times, but what I would upgrade this for is to download HD images and maybe, you know, use these images later on. Okay, so the first attempt didn't actually give us timber walls. I'm not sure why, but when I generated it again, this one obviously gave us timber walls. It did take us a few tries. 
But as you can see here, this is a fairly decent render, right? I mean, like, look at everything we've got here. Maybe the cushions don't align exactly in terms of materials, but overall, I think it's pretty decent. These ones are probably, well, this one's probably a bit more aligned, but I'm not a member. Unfortunately, I can't use that option. But overall, this is pretty decent. So one thing that it's done here is it actually hasn't given us a window here, right? Ideally, we wanted this to be a window, but it's given us a bookcase. Sometimes this happens in AI. And one really cool thing about this website that I like is the fact that if you click on this option, you can either download it, but if you click on these three dots here, there's an erase and replace function. So if I click on this part here, there we go, it's gonna push this image we've generated into the erase and replace tab. And what I can do is I can select this part of this image here. There we go, right? So if I go here, and if I just draw a nice neat outline, and now I can say, hey, I want this part to be a window with a black frame and let's say i don't know city background now if i hit generate it should replace this bookcase with a window and let's see what we get here as you can see we've got a few examples that i've been testing in this video which i'll talk about later on but for this one as you can see i mean look at that wow the fact that it's given okay this is i didn't describe what type of window it was but that's a pretty nice window that is decided to fill in for us this one's obviously a bit closed this one looks a bit like a photo but i mean overall the fact that i got that from that, this is why this tool is so like powerful to me. Okay, maybe you don't like the background and maybe you wanna generate it again, right? That we can go to these AI tools now and be like, hey, I wanna replace this part of the image because you didn't update it correctly. And we can specifically say, regenerate this part on an online free tool, it's absolutely incredible to me. Say if I didn't like this one, I mean, to be honest, I did like that one, so that's the best one. And out of all of these ones, you see where this was the free one, this was the members one. To me, the members one don't exactly generate the best ones, right? It's kind of by chance. Like, I don't think the members one gives you the best images. It's just more of chance about that these two are obviously, you know, generate extra and there's more chance of you actually getting a better image in these two just in terms of the odds. But like I said, the fact that this is a free tool, absolutely incredible. Talking about the membership, I'm just gonna click on it now. As you can see here, if you're a member, the current price is actually $40 per month. It's actually at a discount from $70 per month and you're able to um, you know, download uh, HD images. You can use upcoming features, I guess beta features directly. And of course, you know, you're able to use those member options and there is a yearly subscription. So I'm just chucking that out there. I am currently using the free plan in this video, just so you guys know, but there is the free plan and there's the paid one. So if you go here, say if I didn't like this one, I can just hit generate again and let's see what we get. Amazing, look at this. So the fact that I've hit generate again, Obviously the window, it, I haven't specified what type of window it is. So it is just filling in any random composition, but it is a window with a black frame and every one of these scenes is consistent. It's just this part that is changing the window. So the fact that we didn't like that bookcase and then we fixed this specific part. And like I said, the fact that you can use this tool on the go, absolutely amazing. Let's look at our next example. Okay, so for my next example, we're gonna be taking a look at this sketch, obviously of the infamous Zaha uh, building. I can't remember what it is. I think it's the Haider Center. But yeah, it's a different type of example. It's exterior, it's more organic. Let's see how well this AI tool handles this sketch. So if I go here, what I need to do is I need to first re-upload it. So I'm just gonna click on this one. And of course, when I re-upload the sketch, I am gonna have to change the template, as I mentioned before. So for this one, I'm going to say it's more of generic architecture. And over here, I'm gonna say it's more of a stylized sketch, okay? So if I click on this one again, as you can see, when I've changed the template, I've also got different styles, right? So the template, also affects the styles so obviously you're going to have different type of styles here and this is more curated to the image that you're going to input so over here i can write something like i don't know let's say it's let's do for the style let's do organic because obviously it's a hard deed let's see what's going to happen over here i'm just going to actually let's just leave it empty and let's hit generate and see what we get so over here do, 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 do. i mean to me this is absolutely insane right so from that sketch i mean i haven't even inputted anything but the fact that we've got that image like it's read these panels so well in terms of, oh, that was the previous image. That's another image, damn it. Like the fact that we've got this to that immediately, it's even recognized the people there or a person. Say if I go look at these people there, there we go. It's even put people there, but even the panel composition, right? Like I haven't even described the scene, but the fact that I knew to render it like that, don't get me wrong, over here, it's made it like these fins have increased. I guess that's probably a problem with my sketch style because obviously, you know, the one it was being drawn with the pen, this pen mark obviously got a bit thicker and it's recognizing that as a, you know, a separation of geometry rather than one continuous panel. So I guess it's not really the tool's fault there. But the fact that we've got all of these ones and like even the mood of it, the fact that I even described it and you got that immediately, absolutely incredible. 
So now let's try and refine this a bit, right? So if I wrote here, I don't know, it's a sunny day, blue sky. I'm going to say it's got a white facade panel, large glazing, and overall, uh, I'm just going to write Zaha Hadid. Now let's see what we get. Okay, so one thing to note is that the moment I wrote it's a sunny day, obviously you know that there's more sun in there. But if you look at the shadows, they're obviously a lot stronger in these images, including even like, look at the highlights over here. Don't get me wrong, like this part, like I said, this part of the sketch, it can be improved. Maybe it's warping a bit there. But overall, it's getting pretty decent, right? So over here, for example, I'd say this is probably the best one, but you would need a paid service in order to, you know, in order to edit this. So my overall opinion on this tool is that it's absolutely like great. It's definitely a step in the right direction. The fact that they've given it a nice, you know, UI and it's easy to use in terms of control net and stable diffusion. Before it was quite technical. Don't get me wrong, it's a very powerful tool, but they've definitely simplified it, you know, along with the templates, the styles, and the fact that you can now erase and replace certain images, and the fact that you can use this on your phone and on the go. To me, this is absolutely incredible. You know, we're that much closer for this to being a mainstream tool. And you have to work slowly in order to incorporate into people's workflows. This tool definitely accomplishes that, in my opinion. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. You are going to have to, you know, play with these settings a bit, maybe refine your sketches, maybe refine some of your inputs, and maybe you have to re-roll them quite a few times. But the fact that you can now do this on the go, so say if you're sketching on your sketchbook or on your iPad, and the fact that you now can create photorealistic renders on the go using tools like this, and considering the fact that they have a free plan, to me, that is absolutely amazing. Like... This tool is definitely a win. I would definitely recommend checking it out. And if you do enjoy it, I mean, become a member, download the HD images, do get, re-roll it a bit more in terms of the images. You know, it probably saves you a bit of time. These are the images that I've generated. As you can see, some of them, I'm actually very impressed with them in terms of how well they work. This one, like I said, uh, I can't remember what I've done here, but some of these, I mean, they, they, it does need a bit of work on the erase and replace tool, hopefully using control net there. But overall, this tool is a massive win. Let me know what you guys think of it down below in the comments below if you're excited to try it, if you will incorporate it into your workflow. And as always, if you do enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like. And that's it. Take care, guys. Cheers.